Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this fine, fine weekend? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's been enjoying all the race action. We still have one more race from this past weekend's to do to put up on the channel. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and Tuesday, so hopefully it'll be up by Tuesday. That'll be the dry, uh, Promoter's Choice race. And then we'll be back racing again next weekend here at my house with uh, Frey Cars and HP7s again, and we're still working on the Promoter's Choice for that race. So be on the lookout for that. But today, I thought we would get started on our fray build by giving you guys all the parts you're going to need, where you can find them, and how much they are, and if possible, what the part numbers are. So with that, let's get started. And we'll start out with your chassis. Whoa, as I throw it at the camera. We'll start out with the chassis. This happens to be a WizJet chassis. Um, you can, um, when it comes to fray rules at the, at, uh, at the fray at Ferndale, and that's where most everything that you guys are going to see, I'm going to be referring to that race because that's the race we do. And I know a lot of other places run pretty much the same rules package as they do. So it should be pretty applicable whether you run the, um, whether you're, you're running the Ohio Cup, whether you're running the fray, whether or whether you're running um, the quarrel or whether you're just running with your friends or your particular group of guys that you race with. But um, hopefully, this isn't legal yet, but hopefully by 2022 and we finally get to go back to the fray, the WizJet will be legal. I know it's legal for the Ohio Cup. I believe it's also legal for the quarrel, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be legal for the fray. Um, other than that, uh, other chassis that are legal at the fray, if you're running the IROC race, you can run dash chassis at the IROC race. Um, the individual race right now is strictly original Aurora, but I'm pretty sure this chassis will be legal for that. And the team race is either, um, and more than likely, the, the, the Aurora chassis and the, the Wizard chassis will be legal there as well. Um, I got mine from RT, uh, RTHO. Um, but you can get them there. As far as I know, you can get them there, and you can get them from Wizard Yourselves. It doesn't matter which way you go. They're both the same price. They're both $12 for the chassis, the motor plate, and the motor clip. Um, the, the, Wizard, the Wizard identification number is WJO1X is the identification number for the WizJet chassis. So there's your starting base right there. For $12, it's pretty good to go with, with the WizJet chassis because it's really cheap. T-Jet chassis right now are out of out, just out astronomical prices right at the moment. So it's really nice to have an affordable chassis to go with with your chassis. So that's where we got this. I got most of these parts I got from RTHO. Um, there's a few that came from Wizard, and I'll I'll explain those as we go. But this one actually came from RTHO, but you can get them from him or Wizard, and they're the same price either way you go. So it doesn't really matter. It's probably easier to go through RTHO. Um, because a lot of the other parts here are from him as well. So it's, it was just easier for me to do the whole order through him rather than go into three different sites for parts and pieces. So let's start with the motor plate. Um, first off, you got your top gear set. This is from RTHO. Um, this is pretty much standard on a fray car. Most everybody who lists their parts on the, their fray builds run RTHO top gears. These The gear set... Um, Number is RT150. These are $24 for the set of three. So that that comes from RTHO. So that's where you can get those. Um, most pretty much standard every build I ever read, they run RTHO gears. Your bottom gear, which you only need one, there's two in here, but the bottom gear, which is RT159, this is a nine tooth. These are $6.99 a piece. And I got two of them here, but this is $6.99 also from RTHO. Uh, next up, you're going to need your cluster shaft. Now, these are these are magnetic as far as I know, as you can see. Uh, but a lot of guys are going with non-magnetic as well, which I may have to here soon. But these are also from RTHO. A pack of 10 is $3.99. Um, for a pack of 10, and they're $3, the number is RT151 from RTHO. So next up we have, let's go for another RTHO, let's go with another gear. We have your gear, your axle gear. This is our, also from RTHO, the, it's RT170. I'm going to put all these in the information as well so you guys can look in the description and find out uh, what all of the 
the part numbers are as well. Uh, this one's pretty much standard. There is a few other people out there using and tinkering with other things, but this is your, your standard for your fray chassis. These is from RTHO. These are $650 a piece. Once again, the number is RT170 for that. Uh, let's go next up. Let's go with your front end. Now, I run RT230 front ends on my car from RTHO. Um, a lot of the other guys are running the rocker gear, which you can get from Wizard. Um, if you go to their website, just go to, um, to uh, the front end site there, and you can get... Um, the rocker front end, I've had issues with it. Most everybody at the freight runs it, but I'm I'm kind of an older uh, person when it comes to that. I like this front end, the RT-130 from RTHO. Um, it, you can get them just as low as the other one. The weights are a curved weight rather than a, um, rather than a flat triangle kind of weight. Um, but if you want to go the route, the other route, which is the more common, um, most common front end for that, I'm not sure where I found it. Those are axles. But you can look that up on Wizard as well. Um, RTHO used to make one, but he doesn't list one anymore, so I'm not sure if he's redoing it or what. But um, that's the front end I run on my freight car, so we'll go there. Of course, you're going to need some um, T-Jet guide pins. They're pretty much universal no matter who you go through. Um, there's no really hop-up trick on your, um, on your uh, T-Jet pickup, on your T-Jet guide pins, other than you want the really long ones so you can cut it down to whatever length you need for whatever track you're running. Don't buy a set guide pin that is a set length. Just buy the really long ones that you have to cut yourself. Depending on whether you're running a clip together track or a routed track, you're going to need a different length guide pin anyways because of the, the pin depth slot on the track. So make sure you buy the long ones so you can custom cut your, your pins to your um, specification of track you are running. Um, next up, let's go with the magnets. We'll start with our motors. Magnets, these are from Dash. These are Killer B magnets. They are listed on his website. They are um, $8 a set or $32.50 for five sets. You definitely want to buy as many as you can because you want to be able to match your magnets. Like I've got, as you can see, I've got my motor matching um, listed right here on the pack of what these were when I, when I tested them. So, and I used my uh, downforce meter for that. We'll get to that when we get to uh, tools for assembly in the next video. But these are killer bees. These are pretty much becoming standard now for a T-Jet build, for a fray build. Most everybody is running the killer bees now uh, rather than the stock dash uh, motor magnets. The hardest thing you're going to be able, there's two hardest things you're going to be able to get right now for this build. One is going to be your armature. The other one's going to be your rear tires. This happens to be from Wizard. I bought this from RC at the fray. I had him save me two of them. So this is one of his builds. Um, the other person you may be able to get into contact with is uh, Mark McVetty from, our, from MRT Products. He also does armatures. Um, you might be able to send him a couple of your own armatures to have them uh, balanced and, and trued and polished. Or I'm, I'm not sure if he's still selling them separate. Uh, they were like... Uh, what were they? I think they were $24 a piece the last time I bought some. Something like that. So you either um, you might try Wizard. I didn't see any listed on his site. But um, he might have some there. Or you might try MRT products. So this is going to be your hardest piece to come by. It's going to be your armature. And you may have to wait a while. So just giving you that right now. Also your rear tires um, are going to be kind of hard. Uh, RT, our, uh, Wizard doesn't list any right now. Um, RTHO doesn't have any silicone over foams. He has some really nice slip-on rear tires, though, if you want to go that route, that run really, really well. He has a stock rim that fits different size tires. Go check it out. Just go to the tire tire link at RTHO and look them up, and he has some really good low-profile slip-on tires that work very well. They get great traction. I used, um, used them at uh, Jim's house for our, the fray race there, 
and they ran really, really well. Um, if you look at the fray race from Stan's place, the last time we were there, I ran um, the last heat with that car that has those slip-ons. And you can, if you saw, I didn't have any traction issues with those cars. So they make some really good slip-ons if you want to go that route. Um, these are a set of 324s. These did come from RC when I was at the fray. I picked up a whole bunch of sets of rear tires. Um, the other places you might try for silicone over foams is Lucky Bob's. Um, Super Tires may have some. And um, you can also probably uh, Identity Tire. Not quite sure if they have a website or not. That's the, that's the Bowman's. Uh, you might try them. I'm not sure. Or uh, Borns. That's the Borns, not Bowman, but Borns. They may have a website, I'm not sure. Or you may be able to find somebody that has some somewhere. So that's going to be your hardest part is your tires. Uh, next up, we have our rear axles. These happen to be titanium ones that I got from RC from Wizard. Um, the titanium axles are $4 a piece or $10 for $38. Now, there's difference in what everybody runs on these rear axles. You can run, you can run titanium, you can run tungsten, or you can run non magnetic um, stainless steel. There is some people that are running hollow rear axles as well. I don't like the hollow ones. They bend really easy. You're not really saving that much weight in the car for your rear axles. And besides, it's, this is probably the lowest part of the car anyways. And you want the weight down low in the chassis to begin with. So it's up to you. Um, like I said, these are titanium. They're $4 a piece or $10 for $38. The non-magnetic stainless steel ones are $3.50 a piece. And the tungsten ones are three dollars a piece so depends on what you want to run in your car when it comes to the rear axles motor brushes i like slot tech um i got these from rtho these are you get five sets for 14 dollars from rtho um, there's a lot of other things we used to run uh thunder brushes on our cars but i really like the slot tech brushes they um they don't get as dirty as quick uh, they run really, really well. I run them in all my T-Jet cars, no matter what we're running, Frey or Stock or our uh, Fairgrounds class. I run I run Slot Techs. I, I prefer them. Uh, but you guys can, you know, pill around and find which ones you guys like the best. Just kind of search the internet. Go to Wizard. Go to RTHO. Um, I believe also on the One, slot, one Stop Slot Shop lists uh, motor brushes there as well. So just hit up those guys. Look around, find ones that you like, that you like to run with, and all that good stuff. So, uh, next, whoop, I dropped them. Next are pickup shoes. These are the pre bent Wizard pickup shoes. These work really well. Love them. RC did a great job with these when he came out with these. These are, um, they're E, the Wizard number form are E90. Uh, at the Wizard site, they're $12 for a set of five. I believe that's what they are, and I think they're also that way at RTHO as well. So, great shoes. They're pretty much, oh, you only have to do a little bit of uh, work with them to get them completely flat and get them really working on the racetrack, but they work really, really well, especially if you're running a routed racetrack. They work great and all that good stuff. Next up you're going to need are your spacers. Um, these are brass ones. These are for your motor when we're assembling the, the motor plate. Um, you, I believe these came from RTHO. Can't remember what the number is, but if you guys look them up, they're listed there. They're listed at Wizard in the spacer side. They're listed at RTHO. Um, you're also going to need some rear axle spacers as well. Um, these are also listed at RTHO or also listed at One Stop Slot Shop, I believe. They also have them there. Um, you get quite a few for a reasonable amount of money. Just search the internet. There's different sizes. Um, and and different thicknesses as well so you don't have to stack them as much so just buy a variety of them they're really inexpensive it's nice to have a variety of them on hand for different builds whether you're using them in your fray car whether you're using them on your magnet traction stuff whether you're using them all over the place they work really really well really really great um one thing i didn't look up uh is the doc ock pickup shoe springs um, I know One Stop Slot Shop carries them. Let's look that up right now. Other thing you're going to need um, are your screws for your body. 
Um, I recommend uh, I recommend the ones from from RTHO. They're the fray uh, screws. You can get uh, ten. Uh, you can get the the number is RTHO two. They're ten dollars for a bag of a hundred. I bought one bag a while back, and I haven't bought another one since. So one 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 purchase one hit, and you've got enough screws for a hundred bodies. So very very good. There we go. Doc Ock pickup shoe springs uh, at uh, One Stop Slot Shop are the number is 00 171 Frey approved for uh, $15 for a pack of 10, which is exactly what these are right here. Uh, that's what most everybody runs at the Frey, and you can get those there as well. They're also listing. Uh, they're also listing armatures, the OS3 Tornadoes, balanced arms there at One Stop Slot Shop as well. I'm sorry, many very outside the number, but will be will still be Frey approved. So they are Frey approved as well. Uh, one per order per week. Uh, tornadoes, but they're they are currently temporarily out of stock on those. So. Like I said, that's going to be a hard, hard thing to get a hold of. So, last but not least, you have your body. This one happens to be from Jeff Hurley at Hurricane Motorsports. You can get to him through Facebook. Just look up uh, Hurricane Electric Motorsports. Or you can go to uh, Greg Davis makes some great bodies. My Ferraris that I run on my car are from Greg Davis. He's got a lot of great bodies there. Just go uh, www.gregsgarage.itgo.com. He lists a lot of great bodies and a lot of cool stuff. Has some, and they're very, very, very nicely done. And a lot of his stuff is run by everybody, as well as uh, Jeff's stuff as well. So, those are those are all the parts and pieces you're going to need for a fray build. Um, once again, I will list all of these part numbers in the description as well. So you guys can uh, look, can uh, jot them all down. You can look in the description and find everything. I'll list. I'll also list Wizards website, One Stop Slot Shop, and RTHO's website is there. There in the description as well. So that's what you'll need for your build. We'll get started on this puppy in a little while. Next video we'll go over um, the tools that will make the build easier. You won't necessarily need them. But they do make the build a lot easier, a lot simpler, and a lot, um, uh, a lot more not a lot more um, unfrustrating. Some of them to make this car run really, really well, you're gonna have to have. So I'll let you know what those are and where to get those as well, and we'll just go from there. So I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next week with some more race action. Don't forget to be on the lookout for that third race from this past weekend's race. It'll be up probably Tuesday, and then. The week after next, after this coming week, we'll be back uh, with some more race action. And then we'll be back with a part two of our fray build. What tools you'll need for assembly. So, hope you guys have a great week. I'm out. Remember, keep that pin in the slot, the wheels on the downside. Keep racing slot cars. Don't forget to go to slotcarcrazy.com where we have all these websites listed. And under Go to the fray tab, and I believe they're all listed there. And uh, just continue to have a great week. I'm out. I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.